Surveillance footage has been released from inside of the Corner Club, one of the last places where Kaylee and Madison were last seen alive. This is a picture of that surveillance footage, and I'm going to zoom in. This is an individual that they are seen talking to. We know that Jack, Kaylee's boyfriend, said that he was sleeping whenever Kaylee and Madison were trying to call him. The night of the murders, around 2.20-something. You can also see Hoodie Guy is also in the footage. Not saying that that is Jack, Kaylee's ex, but for whatever reason, if it was, he appeared to leave separately from them because in the next footage that we see, it shows Kaylee Maddie walking with Hoodie Guy and Hoodie Guy only. I do want to add that police are well aware of all of this information. I'm sure that they have done seen this footage and they have verified whether or not this is Jack in the footage. And I mean, maybe he went straight home and straight to sleep after he left the corner club. And this could very well not even be him. Occasionally, he would get kind of physically aggressive towards me. Brian was arrested for the murder of four University of Idaho students. Today, I interview one of Brian Koberger's former high school friends. He struggled with something that he called visual migraines. For me, I didn't really understand what that was. He started kickboxing and he started doing like these really crazy diets where he just wouldn't eat for like entire days. Like he would have a schedule of the days he would allow himself to eat and the days that he wouldn't, like a really weird fasting type schedule. He had a couple girlfriends. He was like associating with, with a girl that he that he was interested in. But one day we were just like in his in his house uh, at, at his kitchen table. And uh, it was me and I think two other friends who I just want to leave out of this. They don't want anything to do with him anymore and I don't blame him. Um, but it was just Brian just... Link in bio for the full video. Okay, so we're only moments away from Moscow Police's press release where they're going to give us more information on the arrest that was made on Brian Christopher Koberger. I have a little bit of information I'm going to go ahead and share with you, and then I will keep you updated as we always have following this case. Today is a good day. Brian was a PhD student in criminology and criminal justice. Now, I also found that he had a Master of Art in Criminal Justice um, in DeSalle University. That's in Pennsylvania. He graduated May 21st, 2022. He was also on the Dean's List. What's floating around currently on Reddit, and I'm going to show you the form in just a second, is that he actually reached out on a forum for ex criminals who had committed murders because he was looking for participants to. Uh, partake in a research group that he had made um, in order to get studying for, you know, the emotional attachment and just the insight from an actual criminal on committing a crime. And this was back in April that he made this public post. Go ahead and screenshot that, but you can see he introduced himself and he said he's inviting you to participate in a research project that seeks to understand how emotions and psychological traits influence decision making when committing a crime. Also, we can see here that he has already gone in front of the judge in Pennsylvania and he is being sent back to Idaho where he will face criminal charges. And again, here is another screenshot of the case document that happened uh, earlier this morning. So that's all we know at this time. I'm going to go ahead and sign off here so that I can hear directly from Moscow Police on what they're going to have to say. And then I will be back to update you guys um, as this case moves forward. Um, I also want to note that today is Kaylee and Maddie's celebration of life. Um, Kaylee's family has come out publicly and said that they don't know who this gentleman is. Let's not call him that. They don't know who this monster is, um, but I will say that it's a good day and justice is coming. Thank you very much, Bud. Now, uh, what is their understanding about uh, the exit from Washington State to Pennsylvania? We know they've been tracking him for days. Authorities say that an FBI surveillance team uh, had been on it. Is this just him going home or do they believe he was on the run? Yeah, it appears that he went home, Chris. We're about 60 miles east of Scranton in Monroe County, Pennsylvania. This is a gated rural development behind me here uh, in the mountains, and this is where his parents live, and this is where the arrest was made early this morning. We're told sometime around 1 or 2 a.m. is when the police first showed up to this neighborhood. Uh, we also know that the Hyundai Elantra that police have been looking for now for weeks was also located. The murder weapon was not located. They've got the neighborhood closed off right now. 
Uh, I was able to get in with a resident about a half an hour ago. Very, very dark and rural in this neighborhood. No street lights. Each house is on a couple of acres. Uh, I went up to the house where all of this went down. There were people inside, banged on the door, and they basically uh, said no comment at, at this point. I can tell you, Chris, uh, that Brian Koberger right now is in the jail here in Monroe County. I have confirmed uh, that he is on suicide watch right now. And I also confirmed through a source um, that uh, while he was in custody, he asked if anyone else has been an arrested, which was an interesting uh, question. And I am told that he has had a quiet, blank stare uh, throughout the entire process while he has been in custody, Chris. All right, Brian, thank you so much uh, for what you've been feeding throughout the day on this, giving us the early jump on it so we could get organized. Uh, as always, whatever you need people to know, come to me. Uh, Enton has been the man from the beginning. New details on the University of Idaho murders and the suspect under arrest. Police saying today that they believe Brian Koberger acted alone and don't anticipate additional arrests. A 28-year-old graduate student was taken into custody yesterday in Pennsylvania, thousands of miles from the crime scene, now facing four counts of first-degree murder. ABC's Kana Whitworth back on this tonight from Moscow, Idaho. Tonight, police in Moscow confident the only person responsible in the heinous murders of those four college students is in custody. We believe we have our guy, the one that committed these murders. The alleged killer, 28-year-old Brian Koberger. Chief James Fry confirming to ABC News this white Hyundai Elantra seen in surveillance video from a nearby gas station the night of the murders belongs to Koberger, saying he was the only person inside. The car now in police custody after being taken from Koberger's parents' home in Pennsylvania. Law enforcement sources saying police used DNA technology to help track down Koberger 2,500 miles away. What was it like to start zeroing in on Brian Koberger? You know, it's uh, stressful. Um, you know that uh, this individual is out there somewhere. We knew that there was going to be an arrest made in Pennsylvania. That's still even though we're here, it's stressful here. Koberger living just 10 miles from the crime scene in Pullman, Washington, where he had been working towards his PhD in criminology at Washington State. To find out it was our neighbor, it was like very horrific. Those who knew the alleged murderer left stunned by his arrest. It was just a shock. He was always nice to me, maybe not to other people. Now, Whit, authorities have not released any information on a possible motive or connection between Koberger and the victims. But Koberger's lawyer saying that he wishes to be quickly brought back here to Idaho so that he may be exonerated. Now, once he appears here in court, that official arrest affidavit will be unsealed and we will learn a lot more about the prosecution's case against him. A man in his mid-twenties was taken into custody by local police and the FBI at 3 a.m. in Pennsylvania. They said the suspect is a college student but does not attend the University of Idaho. They also said he appeared in court this morning but have not provided any further details. I'll keep you guys updated. What do you think? Drop in the comments.